Hey guys, another video for our nature and environment in Japan playlist. We're up here in the mountains of central Japan. As you can see, everything's nice and green and lush. We had a couple of weeks of fairly intense rain, non stop 24 hour a day rain for two weeks, and then since then we've had 37 degree temperatures just about every day, 37, 38 degrees, so it'd be nice and hot. As a result of that, everything's nice and green and lush. So obviously with 37 degree temperatures, you can imagine how nice climbing into that river would be. Very refreshing. Let's do that, shall we? We're out in the centre now, you can see it moving. It's pretty fast. It's pretty fast and pretty heavy. That's why you weren't seeing people out there in the middle. They were sort of paddling around at the sides, but out in the centre it was fairly intense. So this is what we came for. This is sort of a bit of a traditional way of fishing up in the mountains. They used to make these ramps of bamboo and then channel the water from the river onto the ramp and as you can see there's gaps in between the bamboo there which allows the water and the small fish to pass through but obviously it catches the big fish up on the ramp so this is still a very popular way whole villages get together up in the mountains and make these ramps to collect fish but obviously this one's a tourist one for tourists to come to and do it ourselves but it's a similar sort of principle Pretty civilized way to catch fish, isn't it? <laughs> Quite often, what they do is they'll actually have a box uh, and a ramp like this, and they'll have a sort of a box type setup so that as the fish get pushed up the ramp, they drop into a box, and that means that you don't have to be there to catch the fish. You can just check on it now and again and check the box, and there'll be fish in the box. And they submerge the box in the water too so that the fish are kept fresh. They're alive, basically, kept in the box alive until the fisherman comes on, comes along and scoops him out with his bucket or his net and off he goes. So we catch the fish, we bring them up here and we can either give them to the people in the kitchen and they'll prepare them how we want them prepared or we can go over there to where the barbecues are and prepare them ourselves. We went with the kitchen option. <laughs> a few other things from the kitchen that we can get as well. So that's where we caught the fish over there, this is where we ate them. Variety of little rooms like this, you go in there and sit on the floor at the little table, look out the window, and the fish turn up. Not a lot of prefer preparation goes into them, as you can see they get put on a stick and cooked. There's uh, some noodles there, rice balls, and some miso soup. See how it's, the noodles are actually in a half piece of bamboo there that's old style as well the sticks the fish are on a bamboo as well the bamboo just gets so much use we made a video about that once before it's amazing material so there's the fishy nice and fresh num 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 <laughs> Go. And that was that. <laughs> Hope somebody found that interesting. More videos coming soon. <laughs>